emergency broadcast. We're sorry. All circuits are busy now. Will you please try your call again? Hello, YouTube and Preppers. This is the Comms Prepper, and we're out at the retreat location this afternoon. I had hoped to get to South Carolina this weekend for the LerpCon Prepper Conference. Registered for the event, had hotel reservations, but we had a water leak in our basement yesterday, so I couldn't get down there in time, so I had to cancel my hotel reservations. But did get some time to come out to the retreat location this afternoon to work on some projects here, and today's project is repurposing this Goal Zero 15 watt solar panel to charge batteries for my 2 meter radio here in the shed and there's my antenna there for my 2 meter unit and this was part of a larger kit that had batteries and an inverter but the inverter went bad then the batteries went bad so I saved the solar panel itself and we're going to go up here and mount this on the roof but this video is more about sorry for the camera work the brackets I was able to find from a company Renology and I'm going to put a link down below uh, finding brackets and mounts for solar panels can be a challenge if you've looked into it. All the panels have these little notches to connect to something, but everybody seems to have a different method. So this company, Renology, has this, I guess you'd call it a universal solar kit that bolts onto the bottom of the panel, allows the panel to stand off the roof a bit so heat can escape and water and debris can flow underneath. Now in preparation for this project, I actually put a little extra silicone there around the cable and the port where they could chain multiple panels together because I won't be doing that. So that's a little extra weatherproofing. But these brackets are actually pretty nice. I'm very pleased with them. I'm actually using them at the house in Virginia as well. So we're going to go ahead and repurpose this panel and screw it right down here to the asphalt shingles. I did bring up some supplies for the job. I got a cordless drill, got some 100% silicone and some chalk line chalk to mark the holes when I get this into position. To know where I have to put some extra silicone and of course where to place the screws. So let me pause here, get the panel in position, mark the holes with the chalk line chalk, get the silicone down and get this panel mounted. So I got my silicone caulk down here. I know there's many other methods for attaching the panel to the roof but this is a method I prefer to use. And again there's the chalk line chalk, that's how I actually mark the holes because trying to find a marker to write on asphalt shingles is a little bit challenging. So I'll set the camera down here and place the panel in the position and put the screws in and we'll see how this turns out. Well we got the panel mounted here, uh, silicone around the screw heads there and around the bracket. I'm actually using roofing screws that have a compression rubber washer there so that should help aid in keeping this waterproof. I'm not too happy with my idea to use the caulk to mark the holes. It kind of made a mess. It took a little bit to clean up here, so I won't do that, nor do I recommend anybody else try it. Just see if you can find a different color Sharpie or something else to mark the roof with. But I was trying to work with what I had, and not the best idea. So, full disclosure there. But I am happy that the panel's mounted. I'm very happy with the Renology brackets. It's nice and solid. It keeps the panel square. It gives me some offset underneath so air can flow through so you don't build up heat and humidity on the back side of the panel. And there's enough space here to allow water and debris to flow through. So I'm very pleased with this project. Didn't take long. And we'll get on to something else here. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper out at the West Virginia Retreat location. Bye guys. So just a short update on the rainwater harvester project. Last weekend, last Saturday, we came out, we put the drip valve in, we put the spin down filter in, positioned all the valves to catch rainwater to bring it over here into this tank. And it rained on Tuesday out here and looks like we caught a little bit of water. I'll try to get down here without tripping. But there's the mechanical water level gauge. And that was set to empty last weekend because the tank was empty. So it's come up a little bit. So I'm going to guess that's probably 10 inches of water in the bottom of the tank. It's not a whole lot, but it didn't rain too heavy. We're supposed to have some thunderstorms this week. So I'll get a neighbor to send me a picture to see how this is doing. But at least the proof of concept is working here. We're able to take water off the roof, run it down through the pipe here, let it drop down, go to the first wash, back up in the pipe, sufficient enough to rinse the roof. The pipe backs up. The ball floats up and we catch the water through the spin down filter. So it looks like it's uh, working okay. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the comms prepper with a quick trip out to the retreat location to get some projects done and heading back into Virginia now. Bye guys.